We're now speaking with Colin Bowe, Senior Vice President of Sales and Asset Management at Bombardier Commercial Aircraft. Colin, thank you for sitting down with me to have a quick conversation. We've just seen the Q and the C-Series do a flyby at the factory, and it's clear that the C-Series is actually quieter than the turboprop. Yeah, absolutely, Edison. It was uh, quite impressive, even to myself. Um, I, I didn't expect quite the... the the, um, the outcome, the sensation that we had here, and, and very, very noticeably quieter uh, C-Series versus uh, versus the Q400. Uh, you know, I think that, that drives the point that we do have the quietest jet uh, aircraft in the sky now, and uh, that is going to give us a lot of uh, outlets in terms of uh, penetrating uh, environmentally sensitive markets. Um, key here in Toronto, as, uh, as everybody knows. Uh, but but uh, it's a key also in some of our other markets around the world. So now we've seen the airplane do technically what it's meant to do, and the whole world, certainly the aviation world, waits for that next thing, sales. And that next thing is coming. We, we, we stated from the beginning when the program was launched that the objective was to have 300 aircraft ordered uh, by entry into the service of the aircraft. Um, so we're planning entry into service uh, in, the, in the first half of, uh, by the end of the first half of 2016. So we're, we're sticking to that target. Uh, I'm extremely comfortable that we will achieve that target. Um, and uh, you know, it's very much in line, as you say, with, with, uh, with what we've achieved so far in terms of meeting the performance targets, actually exceeding the performance targets, meeting the range targets, exceeding the range targets, and now meeting the noise targets. We're ticking all those boxes off, and, and the last box is indeed uh, the, the sales side. We have a lot of momentum that has been building uh, over the past uh, few months, particularly since the Paris Air Show, when we, we, we brought the aircraft uh, to the world uh, for the first time in, in, in June of this year. Tremendous positive feedback at the air show, and as a result, we've had a lot of airlines uh, large and small, but uh, large ones in particular, uh, that have been extremely engaging. We're actively uh, engaged in a number of key campaigns, and I think uh, once those come through, and I'm convinced they will come through, we will be very proud of them. Okay, one quick question. In terms of the fuel price, oil price is going down. Airlines are seeing much cheap, cheaper fuel price. What do you think that impact will have on your air, air, new airplane, but also on the re-engine market? Is there as much of a drive now, because of fuel burn being the big, you know, fuel savings being the big driver before? Do you see any change in the way airlines perceive that? We're not seeing any change. I don't think our competitors are seeing any change either. Airlines are making long-term decisions. They're making decisions on fleets not just for 20 or 25 years, which is the lifetime of an aircraft, but for 40 years potentially, because they're going to have. A steady stream of, of, of aircraft of that type coming in over, over the years. And fuel is going to be up and down and up and down over that time frame. You don't make a decision based on the fuel price today. Um, lead times are also significant, so the fact that fuel is at $40 or thereabouts today doesn't mean that it will be at that level by the time uh, the aircraft come into service. And I think uh, volatility in that market has been. Uh, notoriously high in recent years. So we're just not seeing the airlines um, focus that much on, on, on that aspect. They are focused on the fuel burn benefits that we get in terms of percentages. Uh, they are less focused on the actual dollars today based on the fuel price today. Thank you.